Welcome to Exchange Rates UK TV. It is the 3rd of September 2021. Taking a look at Litecoin, which has had a really nice move. It's been up over 18% at one point uh, today on this Friday. This is trading at the highest volume it has traded since June 22nd. Um, big breakout move higher, which is not really unexpected because Litecoin certainly has been lagging its peers um, by a significant amount lately. When we look at the move that it's had, um, it's important to kind of take a look at, you know, how high it's gone from, um, you know, an important swing. In this case, uh, it looks if you were to do an Elliott wave move, we're, we're kind of, oh, there we go, at that 1618 of wave four, which I actually should have drawn from that swing over there, but um yeah, that's it's kind of an interesting um, position for it to be at, and it's it's one that might fade off because of uh, GAN time cycles. So just be aware of that. We're past the six one eight uh, retracement. Um, the next major level up ahead is the seven eight six at two forty. Volume profile wise. We should see uh, Litecoin having an easier time moving up than down uh, until we get to probably around um, the upper part of this area at 235. Uh, otherwise, the 886 at uh, 266 and this high chunk of high volume node here, that, that is the, I would say that's the kind of the quote unquote stopping point. I would see Litecoin getting to. Um, in, in the near term. Now, if we do get a corrective wave, then it's it's not totally uh, outside of the realm of it occurring soon. Just want to see what this FIB extension looks like here. Yeah, that 1618 extension is all the way up at 245. So, it, yeah, it could have some more room to run. Even if the rest of the market cracks, Litecoin might be one of those that just keeps moving higher until it hits its resistance zone. When I'm looking at the point and figure chart, uh, I, I see that there is a pole pattern that has developed. So a pole pattern is any column of X's or O's. In this case, this column of X's that has five um, X's above a multiple top. So that's that's what we have here. And the entry on this is the is a short when it returns down to the 50% fib level. So let me get rid of this fib level here. So the the short idea would be to short at 195 even. I've never found that to be a great thing to do in cryptos. Works in foreign currencies, but not so much in cryptos. If 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 we're looking at a move south, then you'd wait for the column of O's to show up and then wait for a retracement and then short on the double bottom. That's that's what uh you would do. But yeah, shorting at 195. I mean, I might be kicking myself for not doing it, but it, it's just has never been like really the greatest idea. So anyways, we'll just kind of leave it there and watch how it goes this week. And I hope everybody's had a good week from all of us here at Exchange Rates UK TV. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.